Alright mga ka-sky watchers and mga ka-spacers So for today's video, we will be featuring this very unique vintage telescope My Vixen Super Polaris R130S Reflecting Telescope So bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating video Let's watch this heart-pounding intro Hello, greetings sa mga ka-sky watchers and mga ka-spacers natin out there from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And sa lahat po ng ating mga ka-sky watchers and mga ka-spacers na nakatutok po ngayon sa ating vlog worldwide and netwide. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. This is your ka-sky watcher and ka-spacer, Sir Jun Kahigal. And welcome to another of our ka-spacers vlog. So for today's video, I will be featuring this very unique telescope. This is the Vixen Super Polaris R130S Reflecting Telescope. And mamaya maya lang, we will discover what makes this telescope so unique. So bago po tayo magpatuloy sa ating video, don't forget to like, share, and comment on this video para naman makarating sa maraming tao, lalong-lalo na po yung mga estudyante natin out there so that they would be engaged and they would be inspired to love the sciences. Our advocacy here in the Sky Watcher Society of Las Piñas is to share the telescope to the public. Don't forget also to follow us on our Facebook page, the Sky Watcher Society of Las Piñas. Don't forget also to follow us on our Facebook page, the Bedan Society of Young Astronomers. And follow me on my YouTube channel, The Science Guy, Professor Jun Kahigal. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell so that you would be updated on our future videos. So, tara na po mga ka-sky watchers and mga ka-spacers. Let's take a closer look at this Vixen Super Polaris R130S Reflecting Telescope. Let's go! Alright mga ka-sky watchers and mga ka-spacers out there, let's take a closer look at this Vixen Super Polaris R130S Reflecting Telescope. Alright, so what makes this telescope so unique, mga ka-sky watchers and mga ka-spacers, is this. Ito po yung kanyang focuser. So if you will notice, hindi siya po yung rack and pinion that allows the focuser IPs to move up and down. So ang focuser na ito ay sliding. So if you turn on this knob, pag inikot niyo po ito, mag slide po itong portion na ito, either forward or backward. And by doing this, this will allow you to focus the image. So, ito yung movement niya, either forward or backwards, so that the image can be put into focus. Ito po yung kanyang lock. So, kakaibang klase po itong focuser na ito. Hindi siya kagaya ng rack and pinion na iniikot nyo so that the eyepiece can move up and down. Ito, sliding po siya. Talagang vintage na vintage po ito. No? Again, this is the Vixen Super Polaris R130S Reflecting Telescope with that unique sliding focuser. Yan. Nakakuha ko lang to sa isang Japan surplus shop and wala po siyang uh, finder scope. So, I have to buy uh, a finder scope sa Lazada. Ito po yung brand niya, Sibuni. Ayan, alright. Buti na lang nagkasya dito sa dovetail, ano niya. No? 
uh, attachment. So, ito talagang yung unique uh, feature ng telescope na ito, no? yung kanyang sliding focuser. Alright? Alright, so hindi maganda po yung cosmetics, ang daming gasgas, lalo na dito. So, tinakpang ko na lang ng sticker. May dent, ang daming dents. Kaya nilagyan ko na lang ng sticker sa kaya ito. Kasi may malaking dent din dito at malaking gasgas. Alright, and uh, nagamit ko na rin po ito in some occasions sa uh, mga free public telescope viewings sa Skywatcher Society of Las Piñas. And this telescope gives good, uh, sharp images of the moon, uh, Jupiter, Saturn, especially the moon. Ang ganda-ganda ng uh, buwan dito. In fact, ito po yung ginamit kong telescope while I was do doing my live stream this uh, last uh, partial lunar eclipse on October 29, 2020. Ito po yung ginamit ko at napakalinaw po ng buwan. Uh, yung uh, lunar eclipse na yan. Partial lunar eclipse of October 29. So ito po yung ginamit kong telescope. Okay, why? Because the primary mirror is parabolic. Talagang pagparabolic yung mirror eh. Um, talagang kukunti lang yung chromatic aberration. Alright? And also, let's take a look uh, inside the optical tube. Ayan po, so mapapansin nyo, isa lang po yung metal support. No, unlike the other reflecting telescopes na tatlo. Di ba yung spider tatlo? Alright? Ito, isa lang that supports the secondary flat mirror. Ayan po yung primary mirror niya. Alright? At po yung mga collimation screws ng secondary mirror. And nung nabili ko po ito sa Japan Surplus Shop, sira ito, bali. Tanggal ito, so I have to glue uh, the entire section together. Yan dito, sa focus. Eh. Ayan, ano na siya, parang metal alloy. So hindi ko siya ma-welding, so I have to glue everything dito. In spite of that, no? na gamit ko pa rin kahit sira alright so again this is the unique uh, sliding focuser naka 0.95 uh, mm eyepiece pa rin siya but I'm planning to upgrade this to 1.25 uh, pag, pag may pera na <laughs> ayan oh, wala tayo ngayon alright and let's take a look at the equatorial mount so, napakaganda ng equatorial mount Now, very smooth yung kanyang uh, movement. Uh, this is the uh, right ascension, slow motion knob. Ito yung declination knob niya. Yan, mag mabigat itong counterweight niya. Very steady rin yung tripod niya. Though aluminum siya, uh, still napakaganda ng mount. Steady po siya. Alright. Meron din siyang uh, polar scope. Galing. Alright, dito naman sa primary mirror, meron siyang collimation screws. Huh? Alright. Yan. And, and this is what makes the telescope so unique. Yan. Itong sliding focuser niya. So, pag ginalaw niya itong knob, this will allow the focuser to move either forward or backwards. That allows you to focus the image of the distant object. Alright, so ito po yung kanyang loob with the secondary mirror and the primary mirror at the back. Alright. Okay, so that's it. That's my Vixen. Vixen Super Polaris R130S Reflecting Telescope. Alright. And isn't she a beauty? Yeah, let's take a closer look.
Alright mga ka-sky watchers and mga ka-spacers So I guess that's about it for our featured telescope for this video This is the Vixen Super Polaris R130S Reflecting Telescope Sana po nagustuhan niyo po yung ating vlog ngayong araw na ito And I hope you have learned a lot about this type of telescope So bago po tayo magtapos sa ating vlog Again, don't forget to like and share this video So that we could reach more people Lalong-lalo na po yung mga estudyante natin out there So that they would be engaged and they would be inspired to love the sciences And don't forget also to follow us on our Facebook page The Sky Watchers Society of Las Piñas And don't forget to follow us also on our Facebook page, The Bedan Society of Young Astronomers. And follow me on my YouTube channel. Mag-subscribe na po kayo sa Science Guy Professor Jun Kahigal. Again, please subscribe and click on that notification bell so that you would be updated on our future videos. Ayan po, no? so uh, we're doing this because our advocacy is to share the telescope to the public. Alright, so hanggang dito na lang tayo. Check out yung mga schedules po namin for free public telescope viewings in the coming weeks. So marami pong salamat. This is your Kaskay Watcher and Kaspacer, Sir Jun Kahigal saying live long and prosper. And always remember to always keep your space and always keep looking up. Bye-bye po. See you on our next vlog. Bye-bye po.